good question. I don't know. Well, let's find out. Just start pushing buttons. Hmm, I wonder what the forward button does. Huh, it didn't do anything. Here, let me try. I'm going right. Go to something. Let's go check around the house. Great, let's do it. Lizzie, hmm. oh. oh, no. do you think it goes to this? I don't know. Let's try it. Hmm, I'm gonna press the speed select button. <laughs> Oh man, let's just go back to finding stuff. Let's see if the TV works for it, Canyon. Great idea, Lindsay. All right, what buttons do you think we should press? So we already pressed forward. We also pressed right and speed select. I think I'm going to press backwards. Oh man, it didn't work again. Well, that remote doesn't have TV buttons. It doesn't have nothing. You're right. No power, no volume, no channel changers. All we need to do is just find out what these buttons are doing. Good idea. Let's check it out. Forward and backward. What goes forward and backward? A deer, like we saw at the ranch. Oh, of course. But you can't control a deer with a remote. Oh, true. Let's see what else. Well, there's left and right and speed select. What goes left and right and really fast? I know this one, a roller coaster. True, but we don't have enough room here for a roller coaster. Oh man, I would love it if we had a roller coaster. Yeah, I wish so too. But let's go in different rooms and figure out what this remote goes to. Come on. Daniel, <laughs> whoa! There has to be something in this drawer that we can control with our remote. Hmm, maybe it controls a dinosaur because they go forward, backward, left, and right. Good idea. Let's try it. Okay, what's a button we have not pressed yet? I think the left. Oh man, nothing happened to the dinosaurs. Hmm, we only have two buttons left. Stop and car select. This goes to a car, Canyon. I have a monster truck. I bet it goes to that. Look, this checkerboard design can be his racetrack. Put him on there. Okay, let's see if he'll go forward. Actually, stop. Oh man, I guess my monster truck doesn't work. Hmm, this has to go to a car anyways because it says car select on it. Where are cars usually? Outside, in the driveway. Perfect, let's see if it starts. All right, Driver Canyon, take us to Disneyland. Darn it, it didn't work. Wait, no, I think I heard something. It sounded like a car starting up. I think it was in the backyard. Let's go. That's so cool. I'm definitely going to drive this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you even know how to drive? Yeah, of course I do. Well, then what are the safety rules of driving? Well, first, it's putting your seatbelt on. Awesome. What's the next one? Adjusting your mirrors so you can see what's behind you. Next, check your fuel. Mine is at 75%. If you're on the road, check your surroundings 
so there's nothing in your path. Very good. And what do you do when someone doesn't see you? And you honk your horn like this. Wow, Kenyon, I'm impressed. Now you can take the new car on a joyride. I want to go after you. All right, let's do this. Put it on drive and let's go. license and registration for this here automotive vehicle. Um, I don't have any of those, but I do have a remote to it. I don't really know what to do with the remote. Uh, I'm at a loss for words here, Missy. Well, you could just let me go keep having a good time in my car. What kind of wild upside down idea is that? There are laws to these types of things, and I am a protector of that law. Hmm, I don't want to break the law, but I do know the safety rules. Does that count? Oh. Really, Miss Confidence, you know all five safety rules? Well, I will be the judge of that. Pull your vehicle around here. Let's get this inspection done. Okay. All righty then, little Miss Lou. First and foremost, we have rule number one. What can that be? Buckle up your seatbelt, like so. Well, well, well. You got one, I'm impressed. But that's the easy one. What's number two? Adjust your mirror so you can see behind you. Very good, that way no critters can sneak up from behind and get you. Looking all right. But what's number three? Oh, number three is an easy one. Check your fuel. Hmm, easy one, she says. Possibly the most important. How much fuel do you have? Over half a tank. 72% to be exact. Well, laws and regulations require at least 50%. And I guess 72 is well above that, so you pass. But what's rule number four? You've gotta be luckier than a live turkey on Thanksgiving day for this one. Rule number four is so easy, it is check your horn. So if people don't see you, then you can tell them that you're always there. Well, I will be a monkey's uncle. Horns up to specs and functioning properly. Okay, well, last one, rule number five. No problem. Check your surroundings before taking off. Well, darn tootin'. Lay me down on the spit and call me barbecue. That's one of the safest, best drivers I have ever seen. All right, bring it round. Shut down right here. I do declare. Little Miss Lizzie Lou Tannerats, you are one of the best youth drivers I have ever seen. You are free to go on your merry way. Thank you, Officer Andre, and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Hope smash that subscribe.